Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day to start things off. The World Bank. The World Bank is praising distributed ledgers and calling out Ripple's X-Rapid as a potentially transformational technology. A new post written by members of the Better Than Cash Alliance and the World Bank's senior financial sector specialist, Marco Nicoli, calls traditional business to business remittances slow and opaque, requiring intermediaries that often lead to higher costs and slow transfer times. These deficiencies are leaving the door wide open for emerging technologies, they said. These shortcomings make the cross-border payment industry ripe for disruption and innovation. Sometimes... Some see distributed ledger technologies or DLT as having the potential to drive industry-wide change. Indeed, B2B cross-border payments traditionally characterized by fragmentation and opacity are a potential case for the successful implementation of distributed ledger technologies. Using DLT solutions could also bring down compliance costs and improve the transparency and traceability of transfers. This could help ease the impact of the de-risking phenomenon and has affected the remittance services industry over the past few years. Increasing the transparency of transactions could increase the confidence of the banking sector in the remittance industry. Further, DLT solutions could potentially bypass the de-risking issue altogether by enabling remittance service providers to enable without the need for a corresponding banking relationship. And then it goes on to say, the report specifically praises Ripple's X Rapid as a real-world solution that's being actively tested in the market. They said in 2018, Ripple, a fintech company, piloted X Rapid, a DLT-based cross-border payment solution. Along the very competitive U.S.-Mexico corridor, financial institutions involved in the pilot saved 40 to 70% in foreign exchange costs, and the average, average payment time was just over two minutes. The transfer of the funds on XRapid took two to three seconds, with most of the processing time explained by domestic payment rails and intermediary digital assets exchanges. The post also highlights incumbents' attempts to improve their transfer costs and speed, pointing to J.P. Morgan Coin and SWIFT's distributed ledger proof of concept as two examples. Here's the actual, for those who are wondering, on the actual World Bank website, here's the actual article that this article over here was talking about, and here is the part where they specifically talk about uh, or Ripple and XRP. They also go and talk about uh, Circle as well, who's also trying to become a money transmitter service corporation type thing. So... For those who are keeping track, uh, this is not even all of them. We have the World Bank who's praising Ripple. We have the International Monetary Fund who has praised Ripple and also Circle as well, who's also in this article over here from the World Bank many, many times. We have Ripple constantly hosting uh, central bank conferences for central banks to kind of hear exactly what's going on. A couple of months ago, yep, a couple of months, yeah, e even actually longer, Ripple in Saudi Arabia, a rate... Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority offer pilot programs for Saudi banks. We had information about a couple of months ago that the Ripple team had actually formed a strong partnership within the UAE. And as far as we know right now, they have not released any extra information, but one can only assume that this is uh, probably gone a bit further than even when we had the information before. For those who are not looking at the screen, it says Ripple at Bangkok Fintech Fair 2018. They said we're working with 40 or 50 central banks across the globe. Something big is happening. Uh, it's not every day that the World Bank uh, will talk about exactly how great your technology is and how it should be used and how it's uh, probably going to take over the world. Just thought I'd uh, keep everyone up to date on exactly what's happening with Ripple because they are... Never not in the news because they probably are partnered with several hundred companies and banks around the world that we couldn't even wrap our minds around. All right, everyone, that is definitely going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you once again for watching and listening. And yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. See you.